Hi, I'm Margarita and I'm a local artist. I have a lot of different influences in my art. Um, one of them is um, travel. So I actually, I love to travel. I love to backpack and to uh, just be by myself alone, uh, trying to <laughs> find my way in the world and learning about the world as well. Uh, and a lot of the time when I travel, I meet a lot of people that become important to me for maybe that moment, that hour, that week, uh, whatever uh, length of time that I'm spending in the place. And a lot of the time I'll take a lot of photos. I'm inseparable with my camera or from my camera when I travel and I come back and I end up painting portraits of these people. Uh, a lot of the time I'm kind of combining them with the places where I met them and forming it into a painting almost like about a memory about a place and a person. I'm very close with my dad and he makes, uh, he creates these masks out of wood. And um, I just, I love, love his work and his masks. I grew up with um, just wooden creatures all over our apartment. And so now we started making these collaborations where he makes a mask and I'll form like an entire world around it. And it comes very naturally because I just find them so inspiring and so cool. And when I see the mask, I just want to just like do something with it. Another inspiration that I have is uh, nature. I love nature and um, I just see so much magic in it. So just this morning I was walking to my car and I noticed that the moss was really, really beautiful and green and I just felt you know right now just for context nature is not really the most beautiful right now because it's like very early spring when there's no snow there's no leaves there's no flowers there's no nothing but it was just this really beautiful moment of the moss just looking crazy and I think it's really coming to life after the winter maybe and it just like got really really green um I don't know so that's a little bit of a random thing but I just I love everything about nature when it's when it's cold when it's uh, truly beautiful and it's just simple and yeah. I moved here when I was six and my dad, he um, moved back to Russia. He moved with us at first and he went back. And I started going back when I was 13, just by myself to see my dad for a month every year. And I think that really um, just opened my eyes to the idea of like traveling alone because I would just go on the airplane alone. And yeah, and then I studied abroad in Hong Kong and there I met a lot of people that were also uh, into traveling. And I did some initially some backpacking with other people. Um, and that also opened my eyes to because I met people that were traveling on their own. And um, but I hate flying. So that's my big issue. You know, I was a little bit nervous about going to Iran. But with time, I just became so comfortable, met so many people. I um, got really used to the culture. And there was just a lot of aspects of it that I found kind of exotic but that I ended up getting used to and I think that's something that uh, is something that I really love about traveling is at first you have this culture shock and certain things just feel so foreign to you and maybe either they scare you a little bit or make you uncomfortable but then with time they just like become a part of your life and afterwards when you leave that place it's almost like you have to get like unused I don't know, get yeah, and used to these things again. I think in real life, a lot of normal life things kind of freak me out. Uh, just like, I don't know, doing my taxes or just figuring out regular life things that some people are really good at and just find to be normal. Um, but but then these people are very uncomfortable in new foreign situations when they're traveling. For me, it's almost the opposite where if I come to a new place and I arrive and I don't know anything that's going on, I don't know the language, I don't have the money, I just get really calm and I just have this very kind of simple, like it's almost like getting back to the basics just have a very simple list of what I need to do, you know, like find money, find a way to get a bus or like find money exchange, you know, find a way to get a bus like to the, the my hostel or, you know, just it's very, very simple. And in my head, it's almost like there's no rush. And I know that ultimately I will be able to find the money. I know I'll be able to find a way to my hostel. And there's some situations in which I can get nervous if it's like the middle of the night or you know, but 
but overall it's like it makes me calm like calmer than i am in real life and it's i don't know why um i think it's because in real life i have all of these other extra thoughts but and then when it comes to traveling it's like it kind of forces you to simplify and just be in the moment i love to experiment with all kinds of different materials uh, I started off uh, doing art, taking ceramics lessons as a kid. So I love like clay and sculpture and ceramics. Um, and then with paint, I just, I love paint. So I uh, started painting also with mostly acrylic. Then I moved on to oil and now I paint with oil mostly when I paint portraits or um, in my studio. And I love painting with oil because it's very immediate. You have to be, it's also kind of like dirty. You uh, you can't be doing other things really while you're painting with oil. So it really forces you to be in the moment as well. But then I also really like texture and experimenting with almost like the abstract elements of art as well. And for me, the ink and encaustic is a little bit more of like a, an adventure with experimenting um, in different techniques and textures and brush strokes. Um, and I started uh, actually painting with ink. So at first I was really trying to practice that and um, be really methodical about it. But then I started to experiment and make it into, you know, use it um, in my own style, just ink and rice paper, uh, but kind of knowing what I knew about brush stroke uh, and, and some technique aspects. Um, and I started painting with that, but then I realized with a lot of these traditional ink paintings, because the rice paper is so thin, they have to mount it on a thicker uh, paper. And I tried mounting it. There's like a special paste. You have to wet everything. And I'm a, very much a do it myself person. And I tried doing this myself. Like I ordered this paste, I did it and I ruined the painting. And I was like, okay, I don't have the patience to learn this right now. <laughs> and I actually thought of encaustic painting just because I'd seen it somewhere. And I just honestly just had this idea of like, what if I put rice paper, melt it into wax and um, paste it kind of onto the board that way and from my very first experiment actually it worked out really well and I just fell in love with it because the paper just like really melts right in and it becomes translucent and um, that you can add oil paint to the wax and color it and just I, I love it yeah I think I fall somewhere um, in the middle between mastery and play I think it is important to have that mastery to some extent so that you can do what you want. Like if I, if I want, if I envision something, but I just don't have the mastery to do it, then like my hands are tied um, and no matter how much I play around with it. But also I don't have the patience to get like full <laughs> mastery of, of anything really. And so, um, yeah, and, and play is just really fun. So I think I'm like half and half mastery and play to make things. You kind of have to enter this mindset of like a creative mindset. And I think a lot of the time, and this is maybe speaking a little bit more for adults and even speaking a little bit about me, because when I am really busy or, um, or even when I'm traveling, it's like, I kind of have to completely shut off this art mindset because if I start going there, then, I'm like fully in it. And I think it's really difficult to have this boundary of I'm creative, but then I'm also com concentrating on my life. And I think a lot of the time um, people, it's really difficult for people to walk that line psychologically. And I think, you know, life is really complicated. So then this creativity is, it kind of doesn't really mesh with a lot of the life stuff and people just don't have time for it and don't have the emotional energy for it um and i think maybe a lot of people if they did start it up then it would almost like take over some of the other aspects of their life when i was very little my mom signed me up for a bunch of classes she kind of really wants to give her kids a little bit of everything so that they can then choose uh, but she signed me up for like dance and music and art and yeah, like tennis, like random stuff. With art, I just felt 
right away very at home and I uh, was very curious about how the world works visually like I still just have these little moments in my head where I realized something about the world and how to portray it and I just thought it was so cool like I remember I was like five it was four or five and we were painting like a still life at this little center back in Moscow and I remember the teacher said like oh on this vase the light shines off and you add the little white dot to it and that's the light shines off and I still remember this you know it stayed with me where I, I added it and I was like wow the vase looks shiny now like, I thought it was so cool uh, a friend told me about this organization it's called Artists for Humanity and it's a nonprofit organization in Boston that gives inner city kids a um, opportunity to go after school and paint and they pay minimum wage and then they also sell the paintings they host these events they have a really beautiful space they host events people come to these events and they buy the paintings and then the kids also get like half of the money from that and that was just amazing because I went twice a week it's supposed to be three times a week but I had other commitments um, so twice a week for three hours and I just painted and that was so amazing because high school was really stressful and I was trying really hard and um, it was just great to do that. I do think there are a lot of barriers to entry for artists. I think I'm not sure if I am the best example um, because I am and but I do think a lot of artists have the struggles that I have. So I think for me, sometimes I do blame it a little bit on my personality where I um, I'm not, I know right now I'm like talking about my art and I seem very, you know, comfortable and all of that, but it's been really difficult for me to like initially, at, especially put my work out there, to talk about it, to take it seriously. And I also um, was really intimidated by um, a lot of the art world and I saw some people not being intimidated by it and really like jumping into it somehow and figuring it out. So I think that it's a combination of barriers. You have to find the belief in yourself. Like you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to continue doing it. And the I think it's almost like the point is that you are continuing to do these, this thing and you're not stopping. I think if you make one picture and people like, you know, even if it's really good, people are gonna see it, but they won't see that you're serious about it, and that you love it and that you're passionate. But then even if you make like a bunch of mediocre or whatever, what if you think they're mediocre, a bunch of something that you think is mediocre, but you make like a thousand of it, people are going to have to notice it, you know, and you're going to notice it. And obviously you're going to learn from it and um, you're going to develop it. And maybe the point is that it's going to be that it's mediocre to you, you know, like if you just continue doing, 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 and you and like believing in it, then ultimately I think, um, like even just to yourself, you'll be successful. Success is very individual and um, personal and technique does play into it, but it doesn't have to. Um, I think it depends on what you want and to express and how you want to express it. Um, yeah, and success is personal and the world is just like an audience and the success in the world is just a, a way to get people to see it really. Yeah.